Hi, I'm Michael from AES, and this is the Cellcom Light. Cellcom Lite is a simple and effective intercom for those who want reliable access control. Right, the bare basics you need to know about the Cellcom Lite. It is a GSM intercom, which essentially means that it has unlimited range depending on network coverage. It calls three program numbers once the call button is pushed. It is a single relay entry system. It comes with its own dedicated app, so you can program and control your intercom and your entrance straight from your phone. It's quite stylish. Um, it also comes as a pedestal mount and as a single button call point. Once the intercom is installed, it's powered up, it's connected to your entrance or entryway. Um, it's really super simple to set up and program. Okay, so when you're initially setting up your unit, you need to make sure that the power is off, unconnected, um, and then you're gonna insert your SIM card into the SIM card holder. I'll show you a close up of this now. Okay, so our unit's powered up, it's got our SIM card installed. Next thing you want to do is go to your phone and download the AES Lite app. Okay, so the first thing that comes up here is the site name and unit telephone number. So you can name this whatever you want. I am going to go for AES Tutorial. And I'm going to put in the unit telephone number, which I may blur out. So the unit telephone number is the SIM card number that you've put in the unit. Now it gives us the option here for iGate 1200 or the Cellcom Lite. We're going to choose the Cellcom Lite because that is the unit we're installing. It, this app can also deal with the iGate 1200. And we're going to finish. Okay, so we're at the home screen here. We're going to go to settings and we're going to go to dial out and dial out numbers and we have dial out one, two, and three here. So in dial out one, you wanna put in your main phone number that you want the unit to call whenever a visitor has pressed the button. So I'm gonna put in my phone number here. I'm gonna blur this out too. Now, if a caller happens to call that and say dial out number one is busy, um, it'll roll over into two and three here. We're gonna save this for on for now, for the purposes of this. Once you hit save, it'll bring up your SMS here and you send that and it'll send through that string of text. And you'll get a reply saying, okay, so the intercom is now hooked up to this phone. So now that the dial -out number has been programmed, um, once I hit the call button here, uh, the intercom unit is going to dial my number, ring through to my phone. I can talk to the visitor at the gate or the entrance. Hello? And because the phone is so close to the unit, you get a little bit of feedback. Okay, top tip there is to save the mobile phone number of the intercom into your phone as gate, entryway, whatever you want to do. Okay, so another important setting then is in settings, dial out and APN. APN stands for access point name and it's the network that you're using for your SIM card in your device. It's setting that up to their network um, to properly ensure that it, it works smoothly. Um, you'll find that online um, depending on what network you're using. So our unit here has a keypad. Um, we're going to go ahead and program in some keypad codes. So you want to go to settings keypad code and you'll see here code one two three four and five so you can program five at a time with a maximum of 25 keypad codes to the unit so we will put in 1988 for co code one 1989 for keypad code two and um, on the right hand side here you'll see relay activation time which is set automatically at one second but if you're using a mag lock or a strike lock or something like that you might want to up that so it goes up to a maximum of 10 seconds here um, so we're going to program just the two or hit and save. 
brings us into SMS. We're going to send that SMS code and we're going to wait for confirmation. And there we are, we've got an OK. So we'll just test out and make sure that those codes work. 1988. There we go. That's the relay activated for one second. Uh, 1989. And there we go. Both codes work. Okay, so in the app itself, you can set loads of different settings. So we're just going to go through a few of them. If you go into your settings, sorry, and then intercom, you have volume. So you can set the speaker volume and the microphone volume. Now, you might want to adjust this if you live near a busy road or somewhere with a lot of noise. So you might want to just readjust those every so often. Make sure that you can hear the visitor and they can hear you. Okay, we also have passcodes here. So you can change these, the programming passcode and the access control passcode. Think of these like a login for your computer to make sure that unauthorized people don't get access to your intercom. Okay, so next we have relay time. Relay time is defaulted to one second, but it can be anywhere from one to 99 seconds. You might want to change this depending on whether you're hooking this up to electric gates um, or a strike or a mag lock. Okay, another handy setting then is the abort call feature. So the abort call feature um, basically aborts the call if it's answered too quickly by the main phone's voicemail. So then it rolls on to the next number or the next number. DTMF latching. So when you're on a call with a visitor, you can press one to trigger the relay, two to latch open the gates, and three to unlatch and close the, close the gates again. So sometimes you might hit two by mistake and latch open the gates, which obviously you might not want. Um, with DTMF latching, you can make sure that doesn't happen. Call times. So call times is the amount of seconds that the intercom will try and call each number. So it's defaulted to 20 seconds for the first, second, and third. So if there's no answer from the first caller within 20 seconds, it'll roll over to the second number for 20 seconds and then roll over to the third number for 20 seconds. Talk time. So you can set the maximum talk time between your unit and your phone. Um, we default it to 60 seconds because that's generally, you don't really need much more than that. Um, you can go up to 9,999 seconds. Um, but essentially, if you forget to end the call, it'll automatically go off after 60 seconds. Right, so caller ID allows the intercom to save 25 phone numbers. You can program up to eight numbers at a time. Uh, when one of those phone numbers calls the intercom, it will trigger the relay allowing that person or the phone access. In the app here, in the middle tab, you have status, and in here, you can check the status of a couple of different things. So relay status. You can check here if the relay is either open or closed to make sure your entrance is open or closed. So you send that through, you get a response there it's saying it's closed. We'll go back to the app. Keypad codes. So you can check all the keypad codes that have been saved on the unit. And there it is. We have two from earlier that we programmed, 1988 and 1989. Go back to stored numbers. You can check stored numbers. Send that through. And we have my mobile number there. And we can check signal level. So once you hit check signal level, send that off. It will give us the firmware version, the network mode, the signal level, and the APN network that's been set, or not set in this case. Okay, so in the main screen, then you have the option to open, hold open, or close. So uh, to open, you have the option to call the unit or send text message. For hold open and close, then it's just a text. Uh, you can also switch site here if you have more than one intercom or maybe you have multiple properties. You can add a new site in there as well, and you can edit or delete the existing site here. If you hit edit, there's a wee trash can up at the top right. So that's the Cellcom light setup and features. Um, any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks very much.